Okay, my partner creates a fist and uh, puts his guard hand up. He can either have the guard hand there or he can cradle his, his center of gravity and cradle the feeling of energy. Up to him whether he wants to have a guard position or hold the cheek. Now from here, he stretches out through my body and just projects uh, one to two meters behind me. I feel that stretch and I put the energy on the line. And I feel his back foot, I tap his back foot, and then I start stretching into his back foot. He just drops his hip, stretches his spine, and builds that kinetic line from foot up through the hip, through the spine, and builds the stretch up. Now, as soon as I've, I get to a point where his, his shoulders are stabilized, he's getting stronger, I want to put more load on it, we need him to bring this hand up, touch my elbow, square his hips a bit more. Now he's got this circle where I can increase the amount of mass traveling through his body. Press down and stretch and drop. With each repetition, he wants to ground his hip to the ground and, and get his spine to stretch, get more grounded, more, more elasticity in his body. So he's building elasticity, building a feeling of awareness of energy, and I'm just stretching to his foot. What I'm not doing, I'm not putting weight on his shoulder, I'm putting weight on his foot. Because my mind is feeling his back foot, I'm transferring load onto his back foot. I have to make sure my hands stay in contact with him when my feet lift off the ground so my body weight is traveling through him I'm not jumping in the air with my legs. So this, uh, this uh, uh, punch strengthening exercise, I can do it from here and here and then transfer some of the load through his elbow to reduce and stabilize the structure if he was a beginner, because he's not a beginner, I'll put both hands on, on the knuckles and then press through into his back leg. What I don't want to do is push down, left, right or up. I want to feel his back foot, tap the fascia and then stretch my body weight into his back foot. Now that line, after a thousand repetitions, doesn't get quite strong and my 120 kilos will be transferring through that line. And anytime he wants to throw a punch, he drops his hip, stretches his spine and shunts and power comes out of his fist, his body mass will arrive. So if let's say he weighs 70 kilos, he'll have that 70 kilos accelerated by, by, by the speed he's going at, so mass times acceleration is force, and he's used to supporting my 120 kilos, so he's gonna have a very strong structure and a very, very hard punch because of the amount of mass and acceleration behind it. And uh, each time he does this, he wants to drop the hips, go to the ground, stretch and drop, stretch and drop stretch and drop. The drop becomes less and less visible. In the beginning you want the drop to be dramatic because that opens the spine up, gets the energy to hit the ground. Very, very important in the early stages. Okay, let's have a play. Thank you.